What it do, YouTube, man? What's up, Jits? Your boy, she is Josh Brown. Another video, my nigga, back. Another fucking reaction. Welcome back to my fucking channel. Six black men versus one secret white guy who is not black. It's crazy. I just seen, I seen a clip of this shit yesterday on TikTok, cuz. It, it made me think. It's crazy. It made me, I, I don't know how the fuck I seen this yesterday on TikTok and it popped up on my, it popped up on my, um, for you page. Not for you page. My home, I talk about for you page. My home, YouTube, whatever that, the home thing of YouTube, whatever that shit called, man. That basically is your for you page because it's popping up shit that they want you to see and shit. So basically, that was just crazy how it just popped up when I seen the clip of this, um, yesterday. Uh, what, damn, I forgot what I had seen. It was, the dude was like, dude, <laughs> he was like, if you black, what's the, uh, <laughs> he was like, if you black, what's the, um, the line that Rashad had said, in, um, that T.I. had said on, um, on ATL. He was like, how long has Rashad been, uh, holding it down? What, what age? He was like, Rashad been holding it down since he was 15. He said, come on, nigga, we took you in. He said, we took you in, nigga. Let's be real, nigga. We took you in. I've been holding this, I've been holding the crib down since I was 15, nigga. <laughs> And when I seen that, she made me think, cuz, I'm like, damn, I just got done for this ATL, boy. I ain't watch my, that's, hey, that's one of my favorite movies of all time, cuz, it's just funny, like, when, I forgot who said it in this video, but when he asked that question, it just, like, came to my mind right away, like, damn, I, like, damn, nigga, I know this shit, but we finna see who won, we finna see who is not black, y'all boys tap in, like, comment, subscribe, man, enjoy the video, let's get to this motherfucker reaction, man, I know this shit finna be funny, cuz, I know it's gonna be funny, they finna say a whole bunch of black shit that only black, like, <laughs> <laughs> the white, I bet you the white niggas is gonna be sitting there just quiet. He not gonna say his shit. <laughs> he ain't gonna know what to say. Was right? that one of y'all always do it? Yes, he will. Was that who gonna always do it? God, God will always do it. They ain't gonna be sitting there. I, 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 I thought he was gonna be talking. I thought he was talking about my parents. <laughs> thought we were talking about our parents. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm, black. I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> It was I'm white. <laughs> hey, I know this shit gonna be funny, yeah, cuz. Now, uh, one quick question I gotta ask. Are there any other, like, Africans or anybody with, like, any, like, Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't, but my mom's Ashkenazi Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally, like, a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to... He's literally mixed with everything. Okay, for sure, for sure. Uh, anyone else? <laughs> just, uh, just black. Yeah, I got nicknames. Well, uh, Rosebud is actually my street my, my street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name, but then Fitz is like the nickname people call me. Fitz. They do Fitzy. Yeah, sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes they be doing Fitzy. Fitzy. I ain't calling no nigga my Fitz. My strategy was to kind of uh, just just be black. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, my strategy would be hear the voices. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm trying to hear the voice. I'm trying to hear the slang a nigga saying because you could you could tell by the way somebody talk. The slang they use if they black. Because you had tough fits on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that too, that too, you can't even see him. What you talking about, that, that too. <laughs> I mean, if you could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on. You that wasn't even that. funny. Can we all say what we wearing and everything? I got a skeleton all red, varsity jacket, cargo Bro, pants you know on the crazy. side. What's up? We matching right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton fit, but I got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces on. <laughs> no, no, you're right. you're right. I wish I could dap you up right now. I wish I could dap you up right now. But Wait, what type forces y'all got on? So I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. You right. Oh, I see where you're going with <laughs> you that. Said I didn't you said know. half black, half, half white. Half black, half white, you feel me? No cap, I used to wear some Pumas that were uh, half black and half white because okay. of that my whole life. Well, my strategy for today was to figure out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole. Right yeah, that's real. That's real. Brothers, that's real. That's true. That's true. Here knows what the smell of a hot comb on a head. Well, that shit, that shit stink. Cause that shit smell like motherfucking like it smell like that shit burning. Cause I hate that shit. Or some prominent songs that you're gonna hear at a family reunion. Oh, they played a lot of blues. Marvin C, Bobby Blue Bland. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac. And <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap. I would not be able to tell dude was white. I mean, yeah, they play a little bit of blue. They play a little Marvin Sam. They play, and then they got drunk. They play that Tupac. You feel me? A little Ti came. <laughs> nigga say I'm more nigga than everybody else. <laughs> Steve, Listen to the nigga voice. I would, I would have been out. I told, I said I'm listening for the voices, man. This nigga, I'm like, oh yeah, boy, you black. I would have told him you black. His vocal inflections, like it just, it kind of it made, made me think of, you know, straight out of Compton, the movie. Maybe it felt too black. Yeah. You know, for a second. 
And yeah, I'm, I'm saying that nigga sound black, black as hell, hell cuz. I grew up on Motown from my dad's side, so anytime, you know, summer vacation in the backyard with my nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop up and nana be dancing, slow dancing to it, you know. <laughs> yeah, Telling them, sit your ass down, you know. <laughs> Everyone has one person that's suspicious of them. <laughs> so we know where, basically. Yeah, we made it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start off with a theme song. You finish it. We're brothers. And we're happy. And we're singing. And we're colored. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. Okay. Like, we know that. We know that. Uh, me going uh, half know. black, half white. There's he ain't know that. Songs that they sing that. Ah, uh, he ain't know that, man. How the hell you don't know that, nigga? I don't care if you white skin or what. ATL Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? 15. He said, I've been running this since I was 15, bud. What's up? He said, Let's keep it real. We took you in. I've been running I've been running things at my, at my, at my daddy's house since he was 15. Come on now. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Niggas got quiet. It's a famous line, y'all. I got another. I ain't gonna cover. I ain't even know the answer to that one. Mm. Shit. <laughs> complete this song. Uh, that boy got. Stretch pants. Stretch pants. pants. <laughs> Boy, <not> stretch pants. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, I don't I know. Got one, I got one. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. yeah. so I mean, you snap. I mean, you snap. Yeah, like, I put my foot in that. Well, I, you snap. That shit good. So intently on, on voices, because you ever been on the phone with like telemarketer? You can tell us a black person on the other side. You can. They throw out little hints you know, while you're talking. And like, oh, yeah. I'm trying to catch that. Call and response. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. I told you, yes, he will. Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. <laughs> <laughs> now, all black people don't go to church now. But they know this. That was, so you do gotta know that. Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up. Red. Red, Red nigga! I like gray. You mean purple? Oh, yeah, he out. Oh, bro, this nigga said great, nigga. Nigga, nigga never said, bro, pass me that great Kool-Aid. What, nigga? Oh, you, ah, this nigga said purple. Bro, I be like, bro, get some blue Kool-Aid, man. Get some red Kool-Aid. You guys say orange, nigga. My, I don't know. I don't know. I ain't gonna lie to you. That, I don't know. Purple did snap, but nah. It ain't better than any. Ah. Top three Kool-Aids, I'm gonna have to go red. I don't even I don't even know what red was. Was red cherry strawberry? I don't even fucking know. That's how you know you out, cuz. I never I don't even know what red was. I don't know if it was cherry, strawberry. I don't know what red Kool-Aid was. I just know that shit was good. My my order gotta be red. Blue, purple did snap. Oh, purple orange. Mm -hmm. I used to mix the Kool-Aid. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was the type of nigga. I'm mixing the Kool-Aid. <laughs> I'm putting red and blue in that bitch. Nigga making purple. I'm putting green. Because where I'm from, where I'm from, we go by colors. We oh, don't bro. Go by, we don't go by that. What yeah, you just said. I don't even know what. Uh, hold up. Why is that crazy? Because grape and purple are exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call we used to call Welch's grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from. We go by colors. We go by colors. Grape Kool-Aid, not purple. Mm. Red flag. He was trying to come out. <laughs> I think you said, mm, red flag, yeah. We're voting you out. You're the first Great. one to go. But honestly, that, <laughs> I, I grew up with a bunch of friends, and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool-Aid? You pour the sugar to the ancestors, say stop. <laughs> God, it's the white dude for me, because the white dude, can't, he don't know. He's, he just <laughs> The white dude said that quiet, but how you, how you supposed to know he white if he not talk? I ain't gonna lie. You talking not gonna change nothing. I told you, he sound more nigga than all these other dudes. That nigga said, yeah, I mean, they put on little blues. <laughs> I would say, yeah, they put on little blues, and when they get drunk, you feel me? They put a little pock on. <laughs> that boy like, summers, who is it? If you outside. <laughs> Or inside, you had to pick. You right? gotta pick like, one. Yeah, one no running. Ain't inside. no running inside, inside the house, man. Inside house, running in and out of the house. Y'all, y'all feel that? Or? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. let that good air out. <laughs> when it comes to uh, black, a sweet man. Who do you think of off the rip? Be alone. Huh? I'm gonna say. When it comes to black women from the '90s, who do you think of off the rip? Be alone. Yeah. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Ooh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say uh 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 uh. Ah, she was a fan. She was a rapper. Um. Wow, what's her name? Rhapsody. Jada Pinkett. Nigga don't think of no Rhapsody. Sister from- Wait, you can't take two, dog. Man, you take them forever. 
goodness, somebody gotta help me out with this. Shotty from like Black Panther. Black What's Panther. Name, you feel me? Yeah, I know her name. Oh, know Angela, Bassett. Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett. All right. There we go. I, I think a, a, a Whitley from a different world. I can't remember her name. Old girl from a different world. Hmm. Growing up, watching my sisters Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from that runway show. Um, is that '90s? Tyra's from the '90s. I was sitting back watching them, being like, "Sheesh." You know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna cap though. Jit, light skinned Jit seem way younger than I ain't gonna say he seemed way younger, but he don't seem like they age. I know when he said, when he said, motherfucking, that's a raven and shit. Appreciate y'all. Damn. <laughs> I was matching with is gone now, bro. When it comes and Jit was black. to being black men. Oh shit, here they go. Life. <laughs> they finna say yeah, some shit made white dude uncomfortable. They say when it comes to boy, you being strong. black man, being a strong, Stay black, away. powerful yeah. black man. <laughs> that nigga was finna get that nigga was finna uh, white dude finna be like, oh, shit. No uh, yeah. oh, no, not this. Bike, <laughs> the white dude, like, oh yeah, like, just, just get me out right now. <laughs> Microaggressions, let's talk about it. I got you right here, man. I went to a PWI. Fuck man, microaggressions. I'm chilling in the corner. There's only 5% of us, but oh. somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the for the dang <laughs> for, the for, for the diversity, <laughs> right? I'm like, they only 5%. I gotta give them credit though, because like finding us is gonna be a little bit tough, but like they, they found a Ooh, way. Well, I go to HBCU, I nigga. Lie, I'm, I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't even get that far. <laughs> <laughs> They had to tell this nigga to talk like that, cuz. They had to tell him to talk like that. That boy said, I ain't cool. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. He said, <laughs> He said, I ain't cool. I ain't the only thing he missed is the N word. If he would say the N word, I swear to God, it would be even more. That was A cool. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. We from the streets. That boy ain't even said, <laughs> That boy said streets. That boy said, We from the streets, man. I ain't even get to that far. I was, I dropped out. I dropped out 10th grade. <laughs> Thank you. I ain't even gonna lie, Loke. I'm, I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't even get that far. <laughs> I just you know, like that. We're on a different journey. That's cool. Yeah. yeah it's like the low key racist name. Yeah. Like, not like. You're so well spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a grown man. Oh my God. For a black man, you're very respectful. I have never. Like, bitch, what? Come on now. Like, come on now. That's some. That, that Y'all making me think now, bro. That do be some. It make you think. They like, what? What the fuck you mean? What do you mean? Oh my god, I love your hair. Thank you. <laughs> what? What is, is that yours? <laughs> is, are those little twists really yours? Nah, I just put some weave in my head. The fuck I look like? The fuck you mean is this mine? Like that be some weird ass shit. You out there running? Oh my god, you're working out. Do you play basketball? Like that? It be some. It be some low key racist shit, man. It's like they give you compliments, but it's racist at the same time. Yeah, that bitch shooting, you you shooting good. Oh my god, I know you play basketball. Where do you play basketball at? You a tall nigga? Like damn, yeah, bitch. White folks see you. The first thing they do when they see you or acknowledge you, they fold their lips, like, and nod their head down, <laughs> make that weird face. Or they face, give you, you know hella I mean? space on the sidewalk, or, you <laughs> yeah, or clutch they. Back. Hey, they be thinking nigga for the take their kid. They move they kid. come. Hold on, move Timmy, move. Nigga ain't for the touch your kid. Nigga what the fuck? <laughs> Push the purse. Push the bag. Take the next elevator. Yes. Mm -hmm. All of that. All it wasn't taking the elevator. You weren't supposed to be here. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me? Like Love and Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right. You from New York. Yeah, bro. dude. So you already know. Like, I am my brother's keeper, and that's some real shit. So I'll tell you what, man. I watched the, uh, the first Power Ranger movie like twice a day for like the first. Four years after it came out, man. Power Rangers? Yeah. Power Rangers. <laughs> what season? What season? Oh, Yo, Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin. Facts. Facts. Hard, hard is hard. It is. I watch, I watch anime too. I'm not oh, wait. You oh, watch yeah. anime? Uh, what you snap. Like, snap. I can borrow both of for shows again. Wait. Nah, Y'all, Naruto. Come on. Like, Naruto. Yo, he snapped. Well, I love the Disney Channel originals. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, uh, no. No. That was good. Hey. Let's watch a Disney Channel. Boy. Y'all know about that static shock, though. Come on. I was literally just about to say. Nah, I'm saying superhero. Static shock. Woohoo!
Come on. I met his voice actor, bro. He was you that, did? Feel my dude is cold, dope, bro. Oh, yeah, he I voices know. every single black, every single black, every and Samurai Jack. <laughs> he said every range, single black bro. dude. He's like, range. Right, every got every question, single black dude. I feel like we just gonna be be like we gonna be vibing, man. Too yeah. much, yeah. Too much. Right, oh, like, bro. <laughs> even if you white, we gotta tap in for real. <laughs> yeah, you be like. But uh, okay, so hmm. why does that bother you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have to point that out, bro. Okay, so in, in regards to dating and whatnot, my first girlfriend, she ended up being. Uh, a Russian girl, and my dad was, he, he always used to throw hints like, hey man, you know, she's nice and all that stuff. And like, he wouldn't, he would never say it, but I, I knew like the upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism and stuff. So he kind of had like a hesitance mm -hmm. for like yeah. those type of relationships. Did your parents or, you know, family members like say, hey, like. I mean, my mother was from Shreveport. So, you know, she used to be on that. Um, and she was older when she had me. She was already like in her late 50s. So okay. she wasn't playing with none of that really. I don't think my parents ever put, they just want me to love who I love, but at the same time, I think there's always that underlying, like, you know, we would love for it to be a black woman, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was actually the same for me. They never said, don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that, but I definitely know how it would make them feel if oh, I God. bring home a sister, for oh, sure. Oh God, my mama, my mama had a white man. I used to bring home straight light skins, bitch, straight bad light skin. Nigga, I brought home probably like two brown skins. They'd be like, uh-oh, you don't like light skins up on who? Who? This is at the time. <laughs> I ain't never bring on no white girl. I ain't no offense to white girls. You feel me? You feel me? What J. Cole said. I, yeah. Um, Uncle Sam, whatever your name, Uncle Sam. I, I fuck you. I fuck your daughters, but you know, in order, to, I ain't bringing them home with me. That's that's just my response to it. Uncle Sam, I fuck your daughters, but your daughters will not be getting shit from out of me. Unless you, I ain't gonna lie, only one bad, 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 you can get anything you want from out of me, baby, because I ain't gonna lie, bad, 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 boy, that shit be looking good, huh? Uh, Ariana Grande, you white, so yeah, that's that's another one. Who else, shit? Um, baby from Outer Banks, but I think it's just her lips, her lips just, I ain't gonna lie, bitch, I'm watching Outer Banks, it's the way she talking, it's just the way her lips, I'm like, hey, fuck that, if I was John B, cut the camera, man, we gotta fix Hey, that shit bad. That's it's the only you're, thing like you're with somebody who understands you, right. who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on a day to day to day basis, from the microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face. My people were cool, or whatever. Like, oh, and Jesse, cool or whatever too. But like, I appreciate the sister, like, because she understands me, and I don't have to explain myself. Yeah, yeah. My whole life was blind. Can't go back to. I'm breaking home, sister. Either way, man. Unless it's a foreign bit. Only thing, yeah. I bring me home. A chica, you feel me? I'll bring me home a chica. Cause them, oh, you gonna cook with, oh yeah. They, oh yeah, I'll bring me home a little Mexican Puerto Rican shawty. But. What are you raising your hand for? We have a tie between Rob and Brevin. Y'all yeah, hit that side of relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Like I said, um, I didn't have a traditional like upbringing as far as like dating um, a lot of different people because I am a queer black man. But it took me a long time to get there. Um, but as far I as I told y'all, Jit was I told y'all, Jit was life, I had a, uh, two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister. Um, super close. Yeah. Um, this is hard, I don't know. I'm black, y'all, I'm black. <laughs> My name's Robert, I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters, and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets, uh, not too Man, much. Man, this nigga fake it! Y'all can hear it! School. And that's pretty much it. When it came to Brevin, it seemed like he was privileged, and I relate more to struggle. Hearing some of the things that he was saying, it kind of like made me think and like second guess. In my brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. I appreciate the try, bro. <laughs> it looks like we are tied again. Wow. Damn. Damn. What? I voted for Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also Thank voted you. Rob. First of all, you know, I. I'm just gonna say that like the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that like, you know, that's just a case where he could like relate to a lot of like black people's struggles, you feel me? Mm -hmm. uh, but he might not be like black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking, I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. 
Um, <laughs> oh God, that's the only thing that nigga like boy sound down. like. <clears throat> Not a whole lot of white people down there. So I'ma say he stays. Rob Black, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the fact. Rob yeah. Black, he yeah. sound like people from around my way. So he, no offense to you, Brendan, but, but you gotta kick I rocks. <laughs> I, I hear it in Brendan's voice sure. too, though. Like, that's the thing. I hear it in both. Yeah, I but, hear it yeah. for sure. Bro. But Rob, like, I feel like I could say certain things to Rob and yeah. he pick up on it quick. If I say something, certain things to the other, it's like, is you gonna really relate or? Yeah. Your boy looking like other. You can't say my name now, cause I'm. A <laughs> uh, I no think disrespect. That. What does hit and lick? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Brevin, you gone, my nigga. Brevin, you gone, my nigga. Take me away. Yeah, Rob sound like I you. told y'all, Jit. I'm not sure why I got voted out. I feel that a lot of times I've felt that I'm too white for the black people and too black for the white people. But it's okay. It's all good. I think the mole. I ain't gonna lie. How y'all? <clears throat> How y'all vote out the nigga who, who brought up ATL? Y'all niggas ain't even no shit about ATL. How y'all kick him out? You want to continue playing the game? Raise your hand. No, stop. What are you doing? 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 I knew I wasn't going to get eliminated. Um, Why is that? His voice. I don't know. I just came in like <laughs> I was going to win. We really already said I was going to win. So. Anybody else got a question? Oh, yeah. All right, so let's make things a little bit spicy, you feel me? What's like one critique and or what's one thing that you think like black people could be like doing better in? Or like a hot take about like black people? Ah, uh, shit. Or, Don't say or, shit, bro. <laughs> since the beginning of the US, um, with the obvious mistreatment of black people, a lot of information pertaining to being able to further us as a people has been withheld from us. And more so recently, the information has been Normalized to be pushed out and this generation is really doing a lot to make sure that we are as gamed up as possible with all the tax information with all that stuff so we can no longer have those that's real circumstances of not having the information to that's real it's always gonna be like that bro people and i think that's i ain't gonna thing. i ain't gonna say is i ain't gonna <clears throat> but the thing i'm gonna say about it i feel like i get where you coming from bro but it's a quote out there that say if you don't want black people to know about it, put it in a motherfucking book, nigga. And most of that shit that you just said about tax information, all that stuff is in books, bro. All that shit is in like they know, they know as a as a black person, bro. Black, they like they know, they know. I know as a black person, nigga, nigga, not finna read no book. Niggas laugh. You read the fuck, nigga? You read, nigga? Niggas not finna like. Come on, nah. They not finna do that, bro. So shit that you really need to truly understand about certain things. Not, I'm not gonna say it's being withheld because a lot of stuff is being withheld from us. A lot of stuff, a lot of shit being withheld from us as a as a community, as a race. A lot of stuff is being withheld. But I feel like a lot of stuff, not saying it's really being withheld, but we don't really teach it to each other how we supposed to. Like it's not really, and when we do, we don't listen to we don't listen to them. Like I know that a lot about black people, bro. Black people say they want this and that from another black person, but when a nigga come and really try to help you out or speak something to your mom. Y'all don't listen to him. Y'all rather go listen to a white person. Oh, the white person telling me this. So it must be true because he white. Or oh, this Asian person telling me this. So it must be true. But when all in all, it's really your brother coming coming, telling you what it is, trying to help you out. But you're going to push him away because, oh, that's just another nigga. He don't know who he talking about. That's a nigga. That's a, I, I feel like that's the only really problem with black people. Cause all, I mean, it's, it's a whole bunch of problems with us too. But it's just like, I feel like that's really the main problem. Like, I ain't gonna say a lot of information being withheld because a lot of a lot of is being a lot of information is being withheld. A lot of information is not being told the truth. Shit, we don't know a lot. Of, we don't know the truth about a lot of stuff. But it's just like I feel like certain stuff we don't really seek out to go learn about. And then when we do seek out, when the person do seek out to go learn about it, and we try to come in and educate us on it, we we shy it away because oh, it's just another brother. But if it's just another, if it was another white man, some sense, if, if it was a white man, Asian man. Somebody come and tell us that shit. Oh, we all ears, but as soon as this is one of our brothers, it's um, oh, that's just another nigga, but he don't know what he's talking about. So I feel like that's what that's really. But I, also I ain't gonna think say that. that people need to really be on their p's and q's with that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information, the more our situation continues to remain the same financially. Even though we spend some of the most money in the U.S., it never some of the most nigga, we do spend the most money on the yeah. Fact
What is he talking about, bro? <laughs> what is he talking about, bro? Tell us <laughs> the gang. Most money in the U.S. It never stays with the black community. The gang banger. Yeah. That gotta elaborate. stop. Elaborate on that. Well, it's, just, it's no point in gang banging no more. I mean, uh, if you think about it, you gang banging, uh, and then it got so bad where you, you know everybody that run black in prison is together. Even if you from the enemy side, the op side, or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I if I supposed to gang bang, shoot somebody, and if I get caught and I gotta go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on, it, just, it don't make no sense. And there's no money involved. And there's just no money involved. I feel that. Mm. So it's just, it's, <clears throat> that's that's the first thing you gotta go. Don't be so quick to buy Gucci, Prada, and Louis. Like, I mean, I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Suvi on, but at the same time, like, if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that, you know? I feel like uh, a critique is just, uh, my little brother is, uh, he's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma, and uh, nothing against like the school or anything that people is around, but I feel like the ideas and, uh, and like the mindsets that he's been around from his, uh, you know, early childhood and whatnot, because uh, have been just like not open-minded to new possibilities, That's opportunities. Real are out there, we just got, you know, open-minded to it and try to figure out what works for us, you know? This might be on the fault of like the media, but I think sometimes we over-sensationalize like our pain. And I think that there's so much more to like the black community, whether it's joy or like having a good laugh or something, like there's just so much more to us than like, you know, the pain that we go through. That is and true. I think that needs to hey, boy, you a, hey. hey, boy, I never thought of that. That's a, hey, that's real, that's real, a. Hey. Hey, boy, you just put some shit in my mind, boy. Real deal. I just, hey, that's real. Like, I I, I ain't never thought of that. That's, that's real, boy. Hey, yeah, you better win this shit now. Y'all better vote Rob, bitch ass, out this motherfucker. Because he talk about the gang banging. The gang banging. I mean, I feel like the gang banging. Get shut your ass up, nigga. But what he just said was some real shit, bro. Like, I don't know if it's because of the media. I don't know if what it is. But it's just like, I feel like certain shit be doing, like, certain shit is overseen. Like, you don't look at, oh, the happiness of black people. You don't look at, like, the what black people they overcame and everything. They just try to bring up the same shit. They try to bring up the pain of black people. Black people doing this, black people doing that. Like, they don't show the, like, the good side of black people. I feel, I, yeah, I get that shit, my nigga. Show more in, like, our movies, our TV shows, just, like, the way we talk about, like, yeah. the way we talk about things. Like, I think that there's just so much more to the black yeah. community than that. That's real. People doing goofy stuff on screen, not just being slaves, you know? Real. Yeah. Come on, now talk about it. Or, or criminals, or, yeah. or, or, yeah. or they're gangsters, yeah. or killers. No, that's not yeah. even, like, a thing for America, but, like, you go to China, you go to, like, some of these other places, like, that's yeah. all they see of us. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Damn. Word. That's real. Y'all gonna be real? Yeah. I think we're all good, bro. Yeah, it was. I think we're all good. No, y'all not, nigga. No, y'all not robbing that bitch. <laughs>
three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> what? This is, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Rob. That's Rob. That's, that's Rob. Rob. Oh, you, that's Rob. Yeah. I'm Brevin. What? Brevin? Yo, what's up? Yeah. Brevin. Yo. What's up, yo? What? Big ups to you, yo. yo. Big, Big ups to you. Hey, yo. Of course, there's been like a couple white boys who cool, but like, not like Rob, like that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they call me Milk. I'm from South Central. I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like out the hospital to a, uh, a black mother. So I was raised with her ever since seven days old. That's crazy. Oh, damn. My whole f Hey, boy, you black, nigga. Fuck all that, Rob. <laughs> you, your color white, boy, but you black. That nigga said, I'm, I'm Rob. Like I said, they call me in the street. They call me Milk. I'm from South Central for real, though. I really do bang that shit. <laughs> that boy said, I really do. That boy saw hitting the little. <laughs> Our boy started crit walking out that bitch. Our boy said, go milk. Yeah, seven days old. Our boy, that be like this. Like out the hospital. Our boy, that be like this. A black mother. <laughs> I was raised with her ever since seven days old. That's crazy. That nigga sound black My as hell. My whole family is black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other oh, people until yeah, I was bro. like, That's dope. grown, grown. That's real. My, That's real. my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only <laughs> white kid at every party, every birthday. But I never really... That never really like bothered me, I guess. Is it hard for you to fit in with white people? Oh, it was. It's getting a little better. Huh. Uh, what about for black people then? Is it easier or was it more difficult to get along with black nah, people? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, that's all I was around my whole life. Right. Jail, yeah. county jail, yeah. juvenile yeah. hall, yeah. every party, yeah. everything. And your whole family, like, they just all accept you because I got sides of my white family that, like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell nah. Damn. nah I had a good family. Since my mom married a black man, they sat shibbets for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. Damn! Like lone feeling that you get sometimes when you feel like you can't relate to anybody. I was like the baby, though. Damn! Oh, yeah. Y'all Jews be talking like y'all are so high and mighty. That's some messed up shit. What? For her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. And it's almost um lone feeling that you get sometimes. Dude, something like you wanted to cry. And it's almost like, um... It's like he was finna cry. You can't relate to anybody. I was like the mm. baby, low key, like the youngest one. Wow. <laughs> what is a misconception people have about black men? Put us in a, in a box that basically states that we're always angry or mad. There's a lot of happy black folk in the world. That's real. Me personally, I'm happy. That's Not real. Not as monolithic as a lot of people would make us out to be. We are bankers, we're lawyers, we're doctors. We all originated from Africa. We all, because you're further away from the equator, it doesn't matter. Black is beautiful. What you talking about, nigga? <laughs> What he talking about? That boy said we all originated from Africa, bro. What the fuck you talking about, boy? <laughs> nigga, we did not all originate from Africa, my nigga. Most of us been here on America, my nigga. I don't know what you talking about. Nigga, talking about we all nah, nigga. I don't know what 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 books you read, my nigga. But nah, <laughs> six black men versus one secret white. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta watch more of this shit because this shit was funny as hell, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, boy. I told y'all this shit was funny. Like I don't know. I don't know who I would have voted out if you black. Y'all let me know who y'all think y'all would have voted out first. This was funny as hell. Y'all boys tap in, man. Like, comment, subscribe, y'all enjoy the video. We out, my nigga, bitch.